Welcome to KDY.com. I'm Kenny Roy. This is the Ask Video Mail for the week of June 3rd, 2013. Welcome to the site to the new members and welcome back to the old. Don't forget the Ask Video Mail is your chance to get your question in character animation or performance answered in a video just like this one, but I need your question if I'm going to answer it. So please send your questions to webmaster at kennyroy.com. I go through all the questions and I answer the ones that I think will help the most people. There's no such thing as a stupid question and it is the best way to get the most out of the site. I don't know. Man, I am pretty stoked. <laughs> We're a week down on collabs and already I've seen some amazing work from the students and uh, we are beginning to uh, switch gears and go into development on a trailer for a feature film uh, that we hope to market and sell um, after collabs is done. Now um, this is a once in a uh, lifetime. Well, I guess we're going to be doing a lot more of these, so it's not once in a lifetime anymore, but it is an amazing uh, opportunity. If you are interested and you want to see what we are doing, I am posting the replay of the webcast I did with Mike Matizzi uh, last Friday in the webcast section of KennyWay.com. So, um, excuse me, um, go over to the webcast, uh, look in the replays um, under collabs. Uh, week one with Mike Matizzi, and uh, you will see the time that we had here. We talk about a little bit of the things that we uh, were going over um, in his lecture when he was uh, presenting to the students at Collabs. Um, but uh, if you want more information, just go to collabs.arconics.com and check out uh, basically uh, what it's all about. It's uh, pretty um, cool. Actually, I shouldn't have told you to do that. I just realized I'm wearing the same shirt that I did in the, <laughs> in the pitch video for Collabs. Oh, well. Oh, well. doesn't matter. I'm going to go move on. I have more than one uh, shirt I wear, I promise. Um, anyway, so we, uh, uh, we just really appreciate your support. So if you can just tell people about that and uh, bring people every single Friday for the next seven weeks now, every single Friday. This week we have Michel Gagne, um, who is an unbelievable, uh, an inspiration to me, one of my idols. We have Joe Cassander, Jen Emberly. Um, those are animation directors and supervisors. Uh, we have Floyd Norman, uh, legendary Disney animator and uh, uh, cartoonist. We have uh, Bill Croyer and uh, uh, Dana Bodway -Mace, uh, Mason or Masson. Sorry, I screwed that up. <laughs> um, the uh, the the roster of special guests is unbelievable. So uh, don't miss those webcasts every single Friday for the next seven weeks here on KennyWood.com. Um, go to the homepage and I'll just post it. Um, I'll have the video on the homepage and you can watch. Okay, okay. I'm glad we're sorted. I'm glad we're straight on that. No, for seriously, it's uh, it's a, a, an amazing event and everyone's having a great time. But. Let's um, talk about the question. It is a good question. I think it goes along with some of the workflow uh, videos that I've talked about, um, but I'm going to answer it in a way that I think you'll be able to use uh, to apply to a lot of different actions, not just the one that was talked about. So let's take a look. Great. So uh, this is a, a great question. From a t technical standpoint and a workflow standpoint, um, there's a lot in there. First thing I want to say is that I did do a um, lecture in February called Staying Alive. That is uh, basically how um, I do, it's a really quick uh, workflow process for creating um, Keep Alive cycles and breeding is included in that. Okay. Um, Another thing that I wanted to point out is that I do talk a lot about breathing in the secondary and the lip sync lectures um, because I talk about anchors. And that's really what I want to focus on when I'm telling you about this uh, topic right now. Uh, what an anchor is, is when you have a sound that is, un, that is unintentional. It is anything that is nonverbal, but it's a sound that the body makes. Okay, so it could be just like the sound of the lips parting. It could be a brief inhale. It could be a deep inhale. It could be any kind of <sighs> yawn, or it could be a, uh, the snapping of uh, snapping of uh, uh, like uh, teeth clicking. Any pauses, hitches, stutters in the pronunciation of a word. So if someone says a word and you. It gets caught up like that. That's also an anchor. And the reason I call them anchors is because the the audience, when they see something that they didn't even realize they heard, then they are brought in and they were they are just like anchored into that scene in terms of like the believability. 
we have such a problem creating a space. Do you see the space that I'm standing in? You believe that there is air right here. There's air in between me and the camera, right? And then when I, I just took some air into my lungs. It's hard to create a space with animation. It's hard to actually create that reality, okay? And the way you do that is you start with those anchors. Um, so the first thing I really wanted to say was that if you are just trying to do breathing and you don't have any of the other actions that are associated with anchor anchors, then you might be falling short. I don't know if this person is attempting a shot that is just a character just breathing or if it's in the middle of a dialogue shot, um, but it really doesn't matter. You have to respect all of the anchors in a scene equally in order for it to work, okay? Another thing is that people try to do a lot, uh, a lot of scaling. I would say that as just a workflow choice, that scaling should be your last, the last layer of movement that you apply to, uh, to a character that's breathing. Okay, I would not say that that um, really that uh, uh, scaling is really necessary at all. I'm sorry that I'm yawning. It's because I'm trying to keep my breathing. <laughs> I'm trying to control my breathing so I, I'm not like jumping ahead or getting too far ahead of myself and you're not looking at me breathing. But it's just making me yawn because I'm not getting enough oxygen. I'm sorry about that. So um, from a workflow standpoint, um, I'll say what I said in my Keeping Alive um, lecture which is that there is just like a little bit of cyclical motion that is, is in, in all of our bodies. And this Keep Alive cycle that I created for the lecture was for this like monster character that goes in a TV show that we do, okay? So that kind of movement, that cyclical nature, is normally tied to breathing. It's tied to, uh, uh, in some way, it's tied to the, uh, our need to get a certain amount of oxygen in and out of our lungs, okay? What I like to do is I like to make everything still move on arcs. That's one of the problems that we have when we try to make a character breathe is that we just have this, right? Even if you have like rotation in the chest instead of like scaling in the chest, if you have rotation, you have this. Okay? Now that's better than translation because translation would, would be sort of a nightmare. Even with an IK spine, it would be a nightmare to create that arc. But notice as I'm moving and as I'm doing this that we're really actually just hitting walls. And we might be slowing into uh, these two different poses, but we're actually not getting too much out of that. So, God, what does keep on happening? Man, I'm sorry about this. This is hilarious, though. <clears throat> The, so, so here's the next thing. You're probably also doing way too much jaw movement or way too much lip movement. I also like to say this, that the best way to um, animate in lip sync, and this is why I said to go check out the lip sync lecture as well, is with open mouth shapes is to do it all with the body. When we laugh, we don't go like this. Ha, 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 ha. That would look weird. Ha, 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 ha. Right? we actually open our mouth and we use our body. We go, ha, 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 ha. And look how, even, uh, even though it's simple, look how textural that experience was that I just created for you. <laughs> You're so lucky. Uh, I open my mouth and I have this overall back and forth. And then on top of that, I have that bouncing, right? In fact, you don't have to move your mouth at all if you're animating this. Just open it up. ha. <sighs> One more time. <laughs> right? Just don't move the mouth at all. So you're probably moving your mouth too much when the character is breathing. First of all, we can breathe through our nose. So if the mouth is, mouth is closed, don't open the mouth. But if you're doing what I think you're doing, it's probably a shot with a character with an open mouth who is breathing and kind of like the idea is that he's breathing. Okay? So here's what you do. Use a combination. Okay? Use a combination of translate and rotate and move the mouth as little as possible to get that, that breath, all right? And in general, we exhale faster than we inhale. Why is that? Just in general, it's 
um, difficult to draw air into our lungs, our diaphragm has to push downwards. It has to expand. <sighs> sorry. It has to expand. It's going to happen. We're just going to have to look past my yawning. I'm sorry. I'm already into it. I can't. I, I'm, I'm passing it back and forth to myself. Our diaphragm has to push down, right, and, and pull our lungs and, and expand the cavity, and our lungs will fill up with air. All right. In general, it's difficult to suck that air in. And in general, once it's in, it wants to get out, right? You can, you can probably inhale as fast as you can exhale, probably, I think. But in general, you want the inhale to be just a little bit slower, okay? So let's put that all together just real quick, real, real quick to start. A combination of translation and rotation, okay? What's translating, okay? Your chest is translating. And if you can, translating it upwards, but with almost overlap, so it's offset with the rotation um, backwards as well, okay? So you kind of have, I'm, I'm, I'm overdoing it, I'm emphasizing it with my neck to kind of show that, that movement. And then what do you have? Watching it from the side, what do you actually end up having? You end up getting, finally, if, you, if you're watching like, you know, the center right here, you finally are getting just a little bit of a circle, a little bit of a cycle, rather, okay? Or also, right? And if we can break it off like the hit, 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 or up and down, right? Which is, which is another one of the worst ones you can do, just translation, up and down, okay? If we can break it off of those patterns, and actually get one that has a combination, then finally we're actually looking at something that is a lot more keep alive, all right? That's why that, that lecture is actually very valuable, so I would, I would encourage you to go take a look at that. It's, it covers a little bit of breathing, but it also talks about that, that kind of like that cycle where, where, the, where the body is actually moving, um, mo moving in that pattern, okay? So that's where we do, right? We combine the translation rotation, Okay, then if you can, if it is mouth, move the mouth as little as possible. All right, so I would hang it open. Time it with the inhales are the backwards, and the exhales are the forwards. Okay, and notice how my exhale is just a hair quicker, hair quicker than the inhale. All right because in general it just should be a little bit easier. It's like two frames. I mean, I'm, this is like a 20 frame, 20 frame uh, 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 cycle. It's only two frames uh, 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 slower, right? Or, a, or, or even, even less, right? Let's say it's 24 frames, right? And it's only two frames. So a smaller percentage. So the, the, the forward, is, uh, is 11 frames and the backwards is, is 13, if this was a 24 frame cycle. See that? See that subtlety and see how we're finally, finally getting just a little bit of a circle instead of just like that clunky uh, back and forth, okay? Then, obviously there is scale. Look at it again. There is scale, okay? But you add that last because what you're going to get is it's not going to, it's not going to stick with that, that believable size. Because if you add scale first, then you're kind of creating volume and counter-animating against that is, is no good, okay? So scale is on the very end, right? Okay, but whatever you do, you see how still my mouth is. My mouth is nice and, 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 and lips are parted, mouth is closed, okay? If you want to telegraph, if it's from far away, one thing you can do is actually close the mouth. And if you're using the nose, do a face shape with the, with the corners go down on the inhale, okay? Because that kind of telegraphs from far, further away. And I went to this for a close shot because it looks a little bit weird, so I'm going like, Right, but from far away it actually can work. 
Well, I know this is not far away, but still, just imagine this. Okay. So those are my uh, first couple of workflow tips um, for animating a breed. If it if it's not looking good to any person, it's not looking good. One of the last things I want to say, and I mentioned this in the lip sync lecture, it really is a valuable one for a lot of different workflow tips um, in general in animation. You should check it out. But uh, one of the last things I want to mention is that just like lip sync, breathing is something that you can have anybody, your mom, somebody off the street, anybody, all right, can watch and tell you if it looks good, right? Lay people are the perfect critics for lip sync and for things like breathing because we see it so much and it is so obvious when it's unnatural, all right? So the best thing you can do, get a lot of feedback and get feedback early so that you can make your adjustments and not have to interrupt your workflow too much to go back and redo work, all right? So I hope that that was helpful. Really enjoyed that question. Check out those lectures I mentioned, and I think you'll get a little bit more. Um, send your questions to webmaster at kennyway.com. Really looking forward to getting some more questions along that vein, uh, or anything that you have. I'm not sure if the new people are to kennyway.com who are on the trial, or if you are sticking around after your trial, welcome, and I'm, I'm really glad you're here. I hope you're enjoying the site. Uh, you can send me your Maya files. I enjoy getting Maya files and opening them, opening them up on screen so that we can take a look together. You don't even have to know really what's wrong or what your problem is. Uh, if you are just wanting to send me your Maya file because you feel stuck creatively or technically, send it to me and I'd love to open it up, okay? That's uh, about it for this week. Don't forget the webcast every Friday for this summer um, on KennyWord.com on the homepage. Bring your friends. I'd love to get a lot of people in the, in the chat uh, talking and uh, asking questions, okay? Thanks a lot. Good luck with your animation. As always, welcome.